What's up everyone, welcome back to Just Finished Coding. This is part 9 of our platform game series on Scratch 3, so let's get coding. Just Finished Coding Now quick interjection here, if you've not watched parts 1 to 9, uh, 1 to 8, please make sure you watch them before you come right here because we're picking up from where we left off and you'll be very, very lost. So I'll leave a card for you right here. Please watch those videos and come right back. Now, if you're still here, I'm going to assume that you've watched parts 1 to 8, in which case your game should look something like this. So I can move the ball around pretty nicely and uh, everything works kind of well, except uh, when we actually move on to the next level. So as you can see right here, when I um, go to the next level instead of the fire or uh, sprite coming here and the lightning uh, sprite going like there something which is re uh, really really weird pops up so in order to fix this head over first to your lightning sprite and uh, you want to change a bit of the code right here so remove your second if a level equals to two and what you want to do instead is to duplicate the first one and you want to remove this um, in our um, if statements and just replace it with the uh, if level equals to 2 that you took out and uh, this would, would not make your program work just as yet and you do want to add in one more thing so you want to add in a hide after the level changes by 1 and you also want to add in a show when the level equals to 2 and now when you actually test it out everything is going to work out perfectly so there we are oopsie and oh man, I missed the jump again so let me jump right now there we are so as you can see here the level is equals to 2 and that's pretty good now, I'm going to make the lightning go to the exact same position when level is equals to 3. But um, just in case you are changing that, uh, I'm just going to make it in a pretty changeable format. Uh, so, you know, just I, I have in the exact same layout that you had um, initially. So, um, in case level is equals to 3 and the player touches the lightning bolt, uh, then we're actually just going to move on to the end screens because uh, our game is just going to be 3 levels and um, that's going to be pretty much it so in case of this i'm just going to broadcast a message called player wins and we'll get into what that message does a bit later now as far as your fire sprite is concerned you do want to change this code a little bit uh, you want to change this if um, to an if else and you want to have the condition the same uh, uh, but within your else statement you want to have a hide and that is pretty much it now uh, you want to head over um, to your um, ball sprite and uh, just make sure that everything you know is still the way it was and um, one thing you want to change is when I receive level equals to 2 and just duplicate that to when I receive level equals to 3 then I'm going to make the ball go up right here um, I think this is a pretty decent position uh, and I'm going to say uh, go to this particular position Okay. So the ball is actually going to fall into a platform when the level is equals to 3. So that's going to be you know, pretty nice to watch. Uh, I'm going to say go to this position and uh, I'm going to go to the platform 3 sprite. And I'm going to add in another if else within the if else. And uh, you want to have the condition as if level is equals to 3. And um, in case it is not equals to 3 then we will hide. But if it is equals to 3 then we will show and that's pretty simple um, this is basically just going to ensure that the platform shows up only if the level is equals to one or three and not if it's equals to two and that's what we really are looking for next thing i want to do is to add in a water sprite so i'm just going to duplicate the fire sprite and call it water and um, in case you want to change the dimensions or anything please go ahead and do so this is completely up to you but i'm just going to make it as simple as possible and i'm not going to get into you know the extensive platform game building so i'm going to change this color to be something like a slightly dark blue waterish color and um, as far as the water sprite is concerned you just want to change this level 2 to level 3 and also change the coordinates so you can click the show icon uh, right there which is the eye within the sprite details and you can move the water sprite as you wish. I'm going to move it um, about this much. And uh, if you head over to your fire sprite, actually, you can grab the motion coordinates right there and put it right on top. And as far as the water sprite is concerned, it's just going to be a little more um, to the right. So I'm going to have the X and Y coordinates as X um, about 100 and Y negative 140. That's pretty much it. In case you're using different coordinates, that's perfectly up to you. So now you can see when we actually move on to level 3, oopsie, so I'm actually going to move up to the level 3 and there we are, level 2, 
and there we are so level three and you can see the ball actually just um, uh, just fell down and that's because we didn't program platform three justice yet and we wanted to go to um, this particular coordinate right there I think this is going to be working pretty well yeah this should work so I'm going to say um, go to this particular position if level is three and let's test this out once again oops hit the green flag once again and our lightning bolt seems to be hiding for some reason uh, let's fix that so um, if level is equals to one then oh yeah we didn't have a show just as yet so just make sure you add in a show right at the beginning that's it so now you can test this out once again and uh, when you actually move up the levels i'm just having trouble jumping okay there we are now i can jump and you can see here that was pretty neat now our uh, lightning bolt hasn't shown up yet but we'll fix that right now so just duplicate this right here and see if level is equals to three, then we will show at the exact same position. Perfect. And this is the level three. And uh, as you can see, everything kind of works. But one thing that we haven't done is uh, restarted the level when the ball touches the fire sprite. And uh, also we haven't really programmed anything when the ball touches the water sprite. And I'll just tell you what is going to happen um, when the sprite touches, when the ball sprite touches the water. So if it does, the a player is going to have a given, you know, constant on amount of seconds to actually move out of the water. And if he doesn't do it, he's actually going to get sucked down and drown. But if he does manage to move out, then, well, congratulations to him. He just escaped a trap. So that's going to be the general idea with the water sprite. And um, as far as this video is concerned, that's all we'll be coding right now. If you've enjoyed this video, please make sure you like it. And also don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification bell. Thank you so much for watching, everyone. And I'll see you in the next video.